Good morning and welcome to the Green Schoolyard. This project is in partnership with Dan River Basin Association and Albert Harris Elementary School with Martinsville City Public Schools. This project we have been working on for more than three years now and we are so excited to give you a mini tour to show you what all a Green Schoolyard can include. First off, we have here a Monarch Way Station. This is a certified way station for Monarch butterflies. And this was really our first addition or improvement to the Green Schoolyard. They already had a butterfly garden here at Albert, Albert Harris Elementary. So what we decided to do was go in and make you know, the improvements to make it considered a certified Monarch way station. And just to give you a brief overview of some of those improvements, uh, some of the things that you need to have is definitely milkweed. You need to have certain types of pollinator plants that conclude both annuals and perennials. And then you also need to have water puddle stations to make sure the butterflies are going to have a source of water. During the second year, after we got the Monarch Way Station, the way that we wanted it and the size that it needed to be, we decided to add a weather monitoring station. With this station, you can see that you can look at the time and check the, you know, check the time if you're looking at the, the way that the sun is going over and what time it's going to be at a certain location. You can also see that we added two different types of thermometers here so you can check the temperature and students can get used to reading it different ways. We also added a rain gauge so students can check the rain. And then we have a weather vane on top that is set to the different directions. You can tell, um, talk to students about you know north, south, east, and west. And then we have a wind sock up top that can help with the wind when you're talking about which direction the wind is coming from. And then on the back side of this weather station, the art uh, teacher here is actually going to get involved in environmentally related um, mural on the back of it. And then with this weather station also, they got a barometer and then they also got an anemometer. Some of the other things that a green schoolyard includes, the one here at Albert Harris, uh, they already had the greenhouse here several years ago. They had that built. Um, a few years ago, we did purchase some grow lights to go in the greenhouse, so that's a nice addition. Um, we do have a vegetable garden down at the end of the green schoolyard for the students to grow um, vegetables during the summer. And later, we also plan to incorporate some fall vegetables so not only summer students can enjoy it, but also students when they start the new school year. Some of the other things that a green schoolyard includes is um, rain barrels. We had rain barrels added. They already had those and we just made improvements to them and added them onto the school here. And the school gets a constant runoff from the air condition and the heating unit inside, especially in the summertime. So the rain barrels always have water in them. And the students use the water. They use get one gallon jugs and they use the water to both water garden, the Monarch Way Station, and the vegetable garden. So one of the things that we hope to add eventually with the vegetable garden is a taste testing cart and station. Uh, we want to use that in the classroom, in the STEM classroom with Miss Lori Witt. We hope to be able to get the, the vegetables from the garden that the students have grown and cared for and then take them into the classroom for the students to be able to create salad dressings and taste things that they can taste and that way they can say from start to finish, you know, they really got a full experience with the vegetable garden. Another thing that we added on is a compost bin site. And so we added that on the same time that we did the rain barrels and the Monarch way station. And with a compost bin site, they already had a compost tumbler. So the plan with that is for us to be able to use the vegetable and fruit scraps from in the classroom that the students get each day. Then they can put them in the scraps in the compost bin site and then the tumbler and be able to produce compost that can then be used on the Monarch Way Station. 
This summer we added on a native bee box. So this is a native habitat for native bees. And that way it was actually received from a grant through the Bee Conservancy. And so this gives uh, Ms. Witt an opportunity to talk about the importance of native insects, native pollinators, in addition to the monarch butterflies. This summer we also added a bluebird house. So it's not here right now because it's the winter time and the bluebirds are not going to need it right now. But in next summer we'll have the bluebird house installed. This was received as basically a donation from the Virginia Bluebird Society. And so you can see it has the protected uh, gear here to keep you know, some of the um, harmful critters out like snakes and those kinds of things that may eat some of the bluebird eggs. But what we're planning to do with this is we also received from the donation or from the grant from the Bluebird Society a webcam. So the webcam will be installed inside of the um, bird house and that way the students in the cafeteria are going to be able to watch on a TV. They're going to be able to watch the, watch the bluebirds hatching in the birdhouse. So the Green Schoolyard is a wonderful project-based learning opportunity for the students that they can come out here, do hands-on learning, and actually be able to take ownership in this courtyard of their school, growing vegetables, producing you know things that they can use in the classroom. They're using rain barrels and practicing water conservation. And also one of the things that we added was a storm drain marking. We have a storm drain down here at the end of this courtyard. So all of the water drains down the, down the level here and it gets to that storm drain. So it gives you the opportunity to talk about water conservation and what goes down storm drains and how to protect them. So this is a really well-rounded, you know, opportunity, learning opportunity for the students. It's something that they enjoy. Like I said, something that they take ownership in doing. And it's something that it's not just a one and done kind of project. It's something that's going to last for many years and offer a wonderful experience for hundreds, thousands of students that come through the school. This is something that can easily be added on your school campus if you have a green courtyard area. And we just, you know, it's just something that you would need to think about, plan out what kinds of, you know, amenities you want to add to your green schoolyard. And maybe it just starts with an assessment of what you already have. And it's just something that, you know, you have to look for grants. We've received grants for this project from the Community Foundation serving Western Virginia for a couple of years. And then we've also received donation funds to be able to support this and volunteer time. But it's something that you just have to think about what all you can pull in from your community to help create something like this at a school. Thank you for taking a tour of our Green Schoolyard project.